Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Kinema, and we're back with some more Clash of Clans. Been a while. Uh, my setup I used to record this uh, had some issues with the hardware. Um, I haven't actually done this any type of recording since I rearranged my office. So had to position my green screen back. The mic, as you can see down here, um, it's, it's actually helped the sound quality of my videos having the mic uh, under me versus pointing down over the top. So at least I think so. Um, so yeah, so I wanted to do a Clash video, and unfortunately I don't have the couple of the replays that I wanted. I guess I've been attacking too much and they're gone. But I want to do a Clash video on attacking. I've been trying to find the best farming composition since, um, you know, since the Town Hall 11 update. When they basically forced us to put the Town Halls on the inside and the shields and different things. So... I'll, I'll kind of talk a little bit. I may do some more videos and uh, talk a little bit about my the base setup. Base setup's kind of odd. I have all this stuff on the outside just because I log in and I check this every hour, like, uh, you know, and click through everything. So people don't steal much from me from there. Um, and I usually always have a shield up. Now, I've been doing tons of attacking, so my shield's been going down quite a bit. Um, but I've been bringing in more loot than in clan wars so uh that's why i haven't i've kind of set myself out of them uh that and some other clan drama um i just attacked so i haven't really built that much of an or really an army at all so what i usually do is i come in here and i train up all 18 hog riders you can split it depending on you know this gives 35 minutes you when you're waiting on spells and other stuff um, it may take a little bit longer than that for those I train up all and we can probably split this uh, four oh four and then I go in with a bunch of wizards just that extra <clears throat> extra damage and then I'll uh, bring in a couple of a couple of goblins just because you know why not um, spells pretty much uh, what, do, what do I have what did I not use okay I used my poison last time um, like I said I just got out of a war so spells I usually go with two healing two rage and I did have the rage so I go with the two healing and then poison into earthquake. Minor max so that 25% uh, damage on the town hall. If if needed, it, it it helps. So that's my my composition I've been using, um, and I have plenty of attacks to show off. So I want to go ahead. Uh, those are defenses. Um, I want to go ahead and as you can see down here, some of these are not too too well now. They did a patch. I didn't do a video, of course. I didn't have my stuff set up. Um, they did a patch where you now have a daily bonus. So down <clears throat> um, right above your attack button, you'll see five stars. And you fill those up as you attack. So some of these some of these bases, I didn't hit for loot. I, I tried to hit for the stars. You know, that almost three star. Um, but... Do I have the other one down here? I know there's probably no replay. Oh, no. That's a good one, though. Um, so, yeah. So, I've been, do I've been doing tons of attacking. A couple days ago, I had one exactly. I had like two days ago. I, You know, I, I've hit places like this a couple days in a row. So, you can see 98%. I don't care because I took everything. Look at that loot. Now, I'm at 2452 um, cup count. So, up in the Champion League. The nice thing about that is I get a 70,000 bonus of Golden Elixir. So we look at the replay here. And kind of look at the base. And these are the type of bases I look for. You can look down at the bottom of the troops. I did bring in a little, instead of taking six goblins, I, I split it up a little bit. But I bring in the queen. Now, this attack, or this move, has been used a lot. A lot of people use it in clan wars, a lot of in raids my queen is not that high uh unfortunately i've been spending all my dark upgrading spells and stuff and not the king and queen which i really should uh it, it's kind of hurting me a little bit at, at my level and um but you can see it's it's pretty pretty cheap now let's 
pause this because I completely missed the other stuff going on. Um, well, that makes it look interesting. Huh. So basically, you have the queen over here doing her stuff on this side. And you look for some of the defenses that you can kind of get to on the other side. And I brought in, uh, took in hogs and dropped some healing spells for them to one here and then one over here. Hopefully you can see the mouse cursor. Um, if not, I can point. Um, I can point. No, I can't. Up there. Oh, hogs. Uh, <laughs> stupid. Um, but you can see, look at these. These are full pumps. There's stuff in the, uh, in the storage. So when I look back, these hogs kind of come in here. They take out these. Luckily, I get, I, there's a, a trick to this. And I guess as we're watching the rest of this action, uh, and I bring in the king over here as well. So king, or king comes down, pretty sure down here at the bottom. Um, but then I still have a lot of wizards, the king, I dropped some of the wizards down here. So the catch to this attack is it does not work well with Inferno Towers. So I, I basically look for bases without Inferno Towers, so either some pretty good loot, Town Hall 9s, or, which is the one that I got that had about that 500,000 of each, was a Town Hall 9, and, and I was actually pretty impressed with the amount of loot I got from that. Um, so look for Town Hall 9s. I'm having some difficulty over here, as you can see. The uh, She didn't burn down the air defense, and they it did kill a couple of my uh, healers, but it doesn't matter too much, you know. She still, since we don't have the inner defense with the, the crossbow, or the expos, and the the Inferno Towers, um, it won't matter. Now a little trick to the uh, the queen, queen Walk, AQ, Archer Queen Walk. Um, the Rage spell increases damage, of course, but it also increases the healing of the healers. So she's almost untouchable if she's standing in a Rage spell with the healers on her, unless it's an Inferno Tower. So you can see this little guy down there at the bottom part of the screen, kinda. He's gonna break through that wall and start working on that. Town Hall. You can see the king's coming up from this side, so basically hitting this base from all angles. Now this entire side over here, over on the left, is basically kind of getting taken out by this queen. I do drop in a couple of wizards to kind of help her out, because like I said, unfortunately my queen is only level 15, uh, which is a little, little low. She does a lot more damage. It's kind of a bad placement on that spell, um, but yeah. So I dropped in the rest of the troops up there. The king's doing some work. He's at least keeping things off the wizards, which is nice. In order for the queen finally gets in that rage spell and starts taking it on. And I still have a couple more wizards. Uh, one more. You can see I just dropped one over here. Now the one thing, I didn't want to drop all of them over here because I wanted the queen to get in the range of these defense and let them start hitting her. So then I can kind of drop in, there we go, with the other wizards. Um, main reason for doing that is that way she's at least getting healed they're not killing the wizards and the wizards are able to kind of sneak around there and do some work on those other outer defenses now a three star would have been nice i think for this war i did not need it i only needed a couple stars to finish the daily bonus um so it kind of worked out so i can see i still have a little bit more unfortunately i just kind of just ran out of time which they would have got the hundred percent but still when you add the bonus into that, I mean, if you look at, you know, 75 or 70,000 bonus on top of this, that is a, a nice, uh, nice bit of loot. So, and I have some more attacks. Unfortunately, I didn't, don't have my, some more like that as much loot. But if we look at some of these others, um, you know, we look, just looked at that one. This one was another, uh, another good one, 87%. Um, that they believe this is a town hall nine. <clears throat> yeah. So some people are still putting their town halls right on the outside. I usually try to let the Archer Queen go after the town hall if I can. So dropped the Archer Queen down, the healers, they the defense will start focusing on her. And then I come in, I believe over on this other side. No. No. Over on this side. <clears throat> This, try to uh, get out some of these defenses. I made a mistake there and dropped the uh, rage instead of the healing. Um, 
Now I drop the healing. So kind of a waste of a spell, but I'm not I'm not too concerned. I'm, I'm usually always going to drop those. And think, well, that's a lot of loot that, you know, that uh, uh, if you look at the, the, the troop, con um, you know, that I, I'm actually bringing in, the uh, it's really not much for the amount of loot that I'm getting. So definitely think it's it's worth it using the spells to kind of keep the hogs going as far in the base as possible just to take out that defense so then the archer queen and the wizards the reason why i do wizards is i know they're expensive but they do so much more damage than a lot of the other you know you bring a whole bunch of archers four archers doesn't compete with the amount of damage in my opinion to, that the wizards do um so King's still there. I bring in my queen, my king up here. Start dropping in some of the bombers, some more of the the wizards, and then he's kind of kind of take a beating from all that defensive up here. Now you notice I'm not attacking. I'm not like looking for maxed out bases. I'm not looking for bases with inferno towers. I'm just looking for bases with a lot of loot that's easy to get with this particular build. So you do have to hit the next button. It's not like an instant next every time, but if you get a hang of it and you kind of go through, at least at my cup count, you know, uh, cup count at around 2,400, um, I've been finding a lot of very successful bases. So, and again, we'll speed this up just because we don't really need to see a whole lot. You can see the queen gets in there and gets out a little bit more. So, unfortunately, I didn't get all the loot I would have liked. You can see, takes out that. And I believe starts working. I, I think I left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I did. No, I got. I did pretty good. Getting pretty good with the loot. So, <clears throat> three hundred twenty thousand. I mean, this. This is where I think uh, you know. I, I think I'm. I hit kind of a sweet spot where, it's uh, been pretty good. And I've been finding a lot of those. I mean, <clears throat> don't look at that. Um, this one wasn't as well of an attack. Uh, they really didn't have as much. Um, I believe we looked at that one. So I would recommend trying out this build. And, uh, you know, it it's very seems to be pretty successful farming with it, at least for me. So I'd be kind of curious to see down, uh, post in the comments if you uh, like the build or you, you've tried other, um, other areas. And if you've had better luck with other uh, farming builds. So right now, the Archer Queen Walk four healer or six healers the wizards the hogs those that seems to be working for me and it's allowing me to do my my dailies get the, all those stars i haven't missed a <laughs> haven't missed a day since i released that patch so very happy about that so anyway thanks for watching everybody this has been kinema and i'll talk to you later